All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly predictions for next week's episode of the Walking Dead television series on AMC. Coming up this week's going to be the Walking Dead season 5 episode 10, which is called Them. Okay, good stuff. And as usual, if you guys missed my review for the premiere episode for the second half of The Walking Dead Season 5, Episode 9, what happened and what's going on, uh, that link will be in the description. You go ahead and click there to uh, to see the review. You want, want to see it because it was a pretty big episode for what they, what they did do. Anyway, I won't be doing too much of a review. In this one, my full review is there. Um, you know, after doing the review and everything, the one thing I wanted to kind of add is it's a really weird episode in terms of like timing, in terms of placing. Um, you know, it's not your, 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 what you would expect to see for like a premiere type new story, you know, uh, especially since we just saw the Beth, uh, or the, the Beth, the death of Beth <laughs> just prior. Uh, it's a weird start off point. But anyway, I'll save that for maybe a QA and a uh, later this week. Got lots of other videos coming this week, some discussion topics for you guys. Send me whatever questions you have, um, you know, related to the review, related to the Q&A this week for this week coming up with either episode 9 or episode 10, and I'll do the Q&A later this week for you guys. Uh, that said, if you know you want to subscribe, you want to see it, go ahead and subscribe. So, um, yeah, weird, weird start off point. But that said, okay, let's focus on episode 10, because episode 9 we've talked about quite a bit already, uh, and we'll talk about it more coming up. Um, but episode 10, so them, the synopsis, I'll put that in the description as well too, so you guys can go ahead and read it. It says, the group feels beaten after living life on the road, but must continue to trudge along. Um, yeah, so the promo link will be there as well, as well as two sneak peeks. So we'll, we'll go over those first. Okay, so the promo, it, it makes, it, it basically shows what the description is saying here with them, is that uh, everybody's tired, they're running out of food, they're, one, they're running out of resources and water, and uh, you know you can kind of see them walking, and they just look like they're exhausted. They look pretty tired in the uh, in episode nine as well too. Like Michonne, if you guys remember, you know when she's going to kill Walker, she's just like she's got nothing left. She's picking up her sword, whereas normally she'd be right in there doing you know like all kinds of crazy moves and dicing them up in every which way she'd want, enjoying it at some points. So if you remember season three with the governor in Woodbury when she releases them to kill them, enjoys it, smiles right. And at this point now, they're so tired that, you know, the characters are just like, they've got barely got anything left. So they're heading to Washington to, they don't really know where they're going, you know. Um, they're not really entirely sure. I guess they figure they they started off initially to Washington with, with Eugene, or at least a splinter group, part of them did. And uh, now they've decided that uh, they might as well just give it a shot because it is, it would be a good type of location to survive in, I guess. So that's why they're uh, they're meaning to go there. They kind of don't really have anywhere else to go and uh, you know they've got to find something so we see them here on the road uh, some pretty cool different looks here so the food and water thing they're exhausted they're tired they run out of gas they got 60 miles left to go and um, they they're basically looking at just surviving survival horror just trying to survive right so uh, also in the promo we get to see some dogs at least I think that yeah I'm pretty sure they're dogs uh, you see them kind of come out of the woods and then Rick's kind of looking at them you can see it near the end of the promo check it out uh, looks like a bunch of them maybe packs of dogs which is something we've never seen before but uh, it does make sense that dogs would actually be great survivors in uh, in a zombie apocalypse because zombies could not catch them and they're so fast and they can move and you know they can they can eat whatever they could even possibly eat maybe other zombies and maybe they themselves would not get sick from whatever these zombies are carrying because their anatomy is totally different from human right um so interesting i'm, I'm interested to kind of see what we see with these uh, with these so we never see anything like that so that's cool it's different um that said, I don't think they're mutant zombie dogs or anything like that. I don't think it's Res Resident Evil. <laughs> I don't think Rick's going to be doing any, you know, spinning Alice, uh, you know, it five feet in the air type uh, kicks or anything of the sort. No, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it does look cool, and I'm interested to see uh, what the deal is with the dogs. Uh, yeah, so there's that, and then we have the two sneak peeks. So the first uh, the first sneak peek, well, the two of them. You've got the first one, you have Michonne. She's talking with Sasha. Uh, they're being stalked, basically. The walkers are coming after them, and Rick and the others are so tired they they're not really able to run you know they're not able to uh you know go for a jog and get away from them they have no energy left so they're just slowly walking ahead of them while the zombies walk behind uh which is cool because we've never seen anything like that before either um so they're going they're walking and you can see all the zombies behind sasha's considering 
uh, you know, killing them, saying that she can possibly even do it herself. And even though they're they're running short on everything, you know, um, even on energy, right? So it's pretty risky. Uh, in the second sneak peek, we do see them actually have to. Uh, it looks like address the problem of the zombies either stalking them, unless it's another group. Uh, and you see Rick; he's kind of near this uh, near this rail to possibly down to a ditch or something. And it looks like he's kind of baiting them. We don't know. Um, from this point, you can't tell in the sneak peek if he's going to just try to kill them or if he's going to try to, like, you know, trip them down or something into it uh, and then have, you know, the others uh, kill them afterwards, you know, zombies rolling down or something like that. Because obviously they're not, they're not very, they're not good with balance and things like that. They're, they're pretty careless, so they could easily fall over and stuff like that. So I guess we'll see what happens with that. It looks, uh, looks like fun. Um, but the part with them running out of gas, I don't know. I, this, is, this is a weird kind of feel for The Walking Dead where we're at right now. They, uh, they could do almost anything they really want to, um, but they choose to kind of not go too, too big. Like with the premiere, with episode nine, they, had, they didn't go huge in terms of the amount of zombies or in terms of, um, you know, uh, anything, just just like distance or, or, you know, they could have done a lot of different action sequences and things like that out there in the world, out there in the open. And yet they focus on on parts that, uh, that to be honest, are not that exciting, <laughs> which is kind of what happened with uh, Tyrese. I mean, it, it was, right? But I guess we'll have to see how this episode goes. But it's a, it's, it's a weird feel. The Walking Dead is always changing the feel and, and always changing it up. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm not... I'm not exactly too sure what else to predict for this episode. I mean, they're on their way to Washington. They're probably not going to get there, you know, anytime soon. The pacing, to be honest, doesn't look that fast. It looks like it's kind of like slow pacing, to be honest with you, from the from the previews uh, that they've shown us. And uh, I guess we'll just have to see, you know, how good it is and, and how good this uh, second half of Season 5 actually uh, ends up being. I think that's pretty much all I got for you guys now, the, the promo, two sneak peeks. And the description, that's really it. In terms of other predictions, I mean, last, last week's episode, episode 9, was so unpredictable. Uh, it went totally against what most of us thought they were going to do for the premiere, which would have been more like uh, season 5's premiere, some some kind of action or lots of zombie killing or lots of something. And um, they went for an episode that was more like The Grove, I want to compare it to, something like that, with Tyrese. And then this one coming up, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's a uh, survival horror, but it, it, it seems like it's a little slower pace than we're used to. So I don't know. Maybe they're having trouble with budget with 16 episodes or maybe because there were so many big, you know, terminus action shots and stuff. And they've been using their funds to build environments like uh, Shire Wilt and possibly some others. Maybe maybe uh, it's hard for them to, uh, I don't know, find the cash to do it or, or I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen in them. That's pretty much all i got to say to predict. Aside from that, like, you know, we've seen a lot of character deaths. I'm sure we're not going to probably see any soon. I'd be shocked if we saw any more deaths for a while anyway. Um, maybe like one, one more by the end of the season, maybe two, but probably further on, probably not anytime soon. So um, looks like an episode that's going to be some fun, different, and, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Let me know what you guys think about it. Write your uh, comments below. Write your predictions below. Uh, and if you like this video, please thumb it up below. Please like it. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favor it. If you knew you want to subscribe, go ahead. Uh, check out the review if you missed it. Better Call Saul review is coming soon. Going to get that done for you guys pretty soon. And then I might do like a, a Easter eggs because there's quite a few Easter eggs in episode 9. So I might do a video for that and then send me your Q&A questions. Lots of videos, lots of things to do for this week. Should have one every day this week for you guys. Uh, or almost. Uh, maybe missing one day. Anyway, so for this one, guys. See you for the next one. As always, it's Trev. Same piece.